What the hell, Vince? You doing a video that has nothing to do with Dungeon Fighter? That's crazy. You're crazy. Hello everybody, this is Vince Omega, and as you can clearly see, this is not a Dungeon Fighter video. In fact, I'm doing a Let's Play of a demo based off a famous game franchise made by Sega. But this is in fact not a game made by Sega, it's made by fans. That was a mouthful. The name of this demo is called Sonic Fan Remix. It is a reimagining of the first two stages within Sonic 2 and a third original stage made by the fans themselves. Yes, I know there is a mouse cruiser in the screen. For some reason, I didn't see it when I was playing, but when I was watching this video, it cropped up, and I know if it annoyed me when I was watching this video, it's going to annoy the hell out of you. But in any case, let's talk about the game. Okay, the game actually controls pretty well. It's very, very uh, reminiscent of the early ga Sonic games physics. Um, uh, you basically gain momentum as running, and unlike what many people said about Sonic 4, you don't suddenly lose momentum when you stop falling forward. You gradually slow down, which is um, which is a good thing because basically, if you played the Sonic games before, you to have Sonic come to a complete stop because you're not holding some arbitrary direction is, is, is pretty ridiculous. And the graphics for this fan-made game are actually pretty good. I mean, not just for the fact that it's glossy and everything, but um, they, act they actually managed to capture the feel of the early Sonic stages. Like, pretty much, if you were to take any of the older Sonic, um, Sonic uh, designs, just flesh them out, give them polygons, they should look exactly like this. I mean, it's really, really impressive. Although, looking at some of the graphics, it, it's kind of reminiscent of Donkey Kong Country. I'm pretty sure you remember the, um, the 3D type um, of effect they had on this, at Super NES. And basically, the look and feel of some of the backgrounds in this stage kind of reminds me of that. It's not a bad thing, but I uh, just wanted to throw it out there. Now you're probably wondering why am I taking so long to finish the stage, just speed along, just go through it, right? Well, I've actually already played this um, demo once, I made a recording once, and that didn't go over so well because there's basically a whole bunch of frame rate lag, you know, my 5,000 piece of crack can barely run DFL. But, um, but we should be nearing the end of this stage now. Although in the first act of this game, we heard the remix music um, from that particular zone from Sonic 2, what you're hearing right now in Act 2 of the remix stage is um, a remixed song of um, a stage called Green Hill or something. Um, I think it was called Green Hill anyway, and it was like the six or seven stage of Sonic 2. But that's what you're hearing right now. It took me long enough to get hit. I went through like half the video when I actually getting hit. By the way, did I mention how much I love the graphics in this game? Like, I like the little small details that they put into here. Like, every time um, I hit one of the enemies on here, I'm pretty sure you notice that not only does the like little animal pop out like they did in the original games, but also they add their like little graphical touches to it. Like, when you actually hit the robot, you see sparks of electricity fly out, and that's. I like little small things like that. Ew. Slow down. That's just... Well... I'm pretty sure that's not due to the coding in this game. It's because I'm on a crappy laptop. Um, if my specs were probably up to speed, you wouldn't notice any slowdown at all.
here's that original act that I was talking about, as you know. Um, the Sonic games didn't really get Act 3s until Sonic 3, actually. Um, they really just went 1, 2, and then there was a boss. It's actually something I'm disappointed with with this um, fan made remix is the fact they didn't just throw in a boss there. They should have really just, you know, threw one in. As you can see, although this is the original act, they tried to stay true to um, the original Sonic's team's um, level design as like aesthetics. Um, there's a lot of like hidden pathways. There's a lot of um, false speed traps and complicated level schemes that they tried to mimic in the third act. And in all honesty, I think they pulled it off pretty well. And that's all there is to this fan-made demo. Um, if you want to download it yourself, there's going to be a link in the download box. I'm going to link to some of the other mirrors, and then I'm going to host my own mirror. Um, anyway, I hope you like what you've seen. I liked playing it. This is Vince Omega, and I'm signing off.